second here from the live admin. Uh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. We're live with round one of Operation Zuladon. Alright, hey boys, we're live. Be prepared. Minus forces are going to be coming from any direction. We're going to fly over here and take a look at the, uh, the Eastern Bridge. Looks like two... Oh my gosh. There's a vehicle going straight for the Eastern Bridge. That's nuts. We can see it right here. It's Xbit. He's driving a vehicle straight towards the Eastern Bridge. What is he doing? U.S. forces are here. Hablo English. Hablo English. Hablo English. That's the wrong language, my friend. Expit has, um, what is on his chest right here? That doesn't look very friendly. He doesn't have a weapon in him. What is Chicken gonna do? Looks like, looks like Expit's being cleared through the checkpoint here. Amazing. The local is not being harassed by U.S. soldiers. <laughs> Look at Hawk with the Carl Gustav, just looking for a reason to pop this vehicle. Is that my mom? Hello? Hello, could I add two chicken meals? No, I'm a journalist. I got your number because I got a, uh, I got it from a friend of yours. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering why you just let that vehicle across the bridge. I have a satellite up lake. It had no, uh, no suspicious devices inside of it. That was a three-wheeling civilian. What boxes they had? Those exist around here. For all the kids. They had candy for all the kids. So, uh, That's amazing. Well, you guys keep up the good work. I hope you don't die. Also, good luck with everything. <laughs> I have a bunch of other contacts I want to call, but I don't know if they'll pick up. Did my Nokia ringtone come across clear enough? I think so, yeah. Very clear. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to hang up now. Bye. Click. Bye. We opened up. Roger. Uh, looks like, um, INS getting some real pressure here. Looks like one of the, the, uh, hold on, I heard a Atomic Peaches here in one of the 50 MRAPs. He's getting shot up from range. Looks like it's still kind of blind return fire at this point. Oh, he might have a track on Nerdsy here. Wow, he's even getting told to. Ooh. Peach has a pretty good eye here. He's still getting shot at, but. Um, uh oh. Oh god, I'm gonna die doing this. Oh god. Alright, it's locked in the room. Peach got out of the turret just in time. Yikes. That was nuts. Canine, try to get your gunners uh, lined up, have eyes on the radio tower and bridge to the uh, northeast. Take a look at Zaki's position here. Does he even have a sandbag behind him? No, man. He's just prone here. We're gonna go up to three or what? Once the vehicle is inspected, uh, go ahead and go unarmed and uh, let him through. One suggestion: keep the MRAPs up high on the hill and have the infantry come down to us. That's my plan. Bro. Transport truck is coming through. Roger. Is it clean? 
Yeah, it seems clean. It, it, did you inspect it? Yes, yes. I had one of my uh, right. gentlemen inspect it. Roger. All right. Yeah, let it through. Not a, or a rather okay, Scottish chap. Behind us. Looks like he let another civilian vehicle through. Oh, but do we have any other movement? I guess the civilians uh, just don't want to be here anymore, so they're just getting hey, things we're, out. We're contact moving northeast. I'll try to get an exact grid in a sec. Oh, interesting. Vlad Putin chilling over here in this Bravo 612. Big question mark. I wonder what, he, what he's up to over there. Infantry getting into position here. About three squads worth all told. Looks like they really want to take the western point. Now, this was an obvious pick because it's just simply... I see them. It's simply the easiest point to attack, and looks like we have some infantry contact here from range. Oh, is HK going to throw a rocket over here? No, I think he's switching up to our rifle, which is smarter if he's going to even think about engaging at this range. It's about, it's about 200 meters, but there's about 40 meters of elevation, 30 meters of elevation here. Oh. Roger, all right. You even hear the report going over um, command net. Three knows that they're being observed. We are going to peek ever so often at the map here just to make sure we're not missing anything. Oop, and shots coming in. Big shrug. These guys are looking at um, INS forces across the valley here. It's kind of what they were anticipating. Vidus Centurion's got an MMG. But looks like it's just suppression work at this point. INS have fallen back to behind the hill. We're going to float back to some other checkpoints here just to make sure everything's... Still kind of in this situation. It's kind of different from a lot of our other operations, if I'm really honest. Usually it's pretty clear attack-defend situations. This is kind of one of those similar situations, but the difference here is that there's just a random civilian truck just rolling through. Big shrug. What is this fire? Oh. So, the bridge has lost one of their 50 cal MRAPs. And it looks like the QRF have arrived. Just, uh, just east of the central bridge. Two 50 cal MRAPs. Three 50 cal MRAPs, rather. Bartok got himself a, uh, Carl Gustav here. Bartok the master, what is he gonna do? Is he gonna try to shoot? Yeah. Please don't send a rocket, I'm right behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just using his, that's my binos. That's bad. Cal gunners pretty close here. Ertzi. Ertzi just seems to be getting all the ammo. Now they're shooting the radio tower for no reason. Don't get shot. I think he's just scared. We're gonna fly over here and take a look at the uh, eastern side. Roger, just keep eyes up and 
down the river. A firm, uh, Slav, I will need to rely on you guys up there to spot contacts though, moving on us. Roger, good copy. I'll keep eyes out. Yeah, if you could, the radio's right here in this corner, so if you want to drop a couple, um, double stacks, one here, and then like maybe one here, so we got covered to bound back if we need to. Yeah, Assault's thinking pretty, um, pretty smartly space. here about I trying to some space. get some, um, uh, defense here. If you could, right about here, just orient one, orient one like Looks north, like he's using chicken. And then double stack it. Uh, chicken as the engineer has a pretty cool thing called carrying sandbags. And he can deploy these sandbags to uh, add in himself in here. Possible confirmed kills from the MRAPs. Maybe two or three. Right. That's actually pretty, okay. pretty accurate there. I'm extremely concerned of our north position. We're sending two MRAPs to your location. Hmm. Vlad Poutine getting pretty close here to running up the rear end of that northern bridge. We're gonna fly back up here. We're gonna take a look at the uh, MRAP position here on the hill real quick. They're still shooting randomly. Perfect there. Right See that whole little Sir, hill down. Sit rep on. That whole hill right there. They're right behind it. Just keep eyes out. Looks like it's generally it's enough uh, suppression to cause that element to stop moving. That's squad two, along with bump. We're gonna go ahead and move on, check at the central bridge. It's an interesting uh, little bunker city thing we've got going on here. Using the static structures that are in the map to help sort of define what they want to use to uh, defend their location. It's pretty quiet here, all things considered. They just got the MRAPs firing above their heads. Of course, the reason why it's quiet here is because they've lost their MRAP. Oof. We're gonna go ahead and uh, fly over here to the west and take a look at this bridge. Sounds like there's a lot of fire coming from the western bridge. And it does look like Vlad Putin here in this uh, truck is thinking about moving in, and that's also because he's let off a squad of infantry. This is the other squad that we've been missing here. Looks like a couple of MRAPs have come over to help support. Stationary MRAPs that have, just haven't been shot yet. It's kind of amazing. Uh, and it looks like these guys are actually falling back here on the top bridge. Jacko 800 died. Oof. Uh, Evan and Bacon Batman are up on top of this hill. A, uh, Alpha confirmed guy on Hotel 894 around that, ba that mount. Hotel 894. Right now, what's yeah, down here? Right there is a squad leader over here, and I believe that squad leader is Boogie. Yep. Boogie's over here looking at the, uh, the MRAPs, or he's trying to find the MRAPs, I guess. Contact is not advanced, they've, uh, pulled back a little bit. No, he's looking at the MRAPs. Nope. MRAPs are not yeah, really not shooting. Push. They are maneuvering a little bit. If you're not pushing, uh, then go ahead and hold, and, uh, keep 360 security. Just make sure you keep eyes out. Slight maneuvering going on here. Do you have any confirmed kills, uh, Scottish? At this point, three kills U.S., one kill for INS. U.S. doing a pretty good job of defending here, but INS really haven't shown their hand when it comes to their assault. K9, we have a uh, lot of F739. What is Vader shooting at? Vader's shooting at uh, the squad that's across the uh, across the river here. General suppression. I think he's an MMG. Yep. 
And he crawled back down the ridge line here. Alright, we're still looking for INS to make their real first push here, and I think that was meant to be on this nor e this uh, eastern, oh, sorry, this western bridge. And we can see most of uh, INS's team here. Guess what? They're running at these, uh, they've actually pushed a fire team across the bridge, uh, across the river here. And it looks like one of these uh, MRAPs have taken a lap. Oh my. Um, what are they going to do now? That's not good. I don't think these guys are actually anticipating anything going on here. Pony has eyes on infantry. Flash of Wall is running around like he has no idea what's going on. But... Kinga gets shot off one of the MRAPs. And K9 just turns on Pony and shoots him in the face. Okay, command, I may be possibly going right. down. We have infantry close. Right there. Literally, oh, like, five minutes in front of Roger, get in the fucking Amaranth and get the fuck out of here. Amaranth is still trying to shoot. Oh no, K9 goes down! There's one rifleman now to move two Amaranths. Lib is still around here too. Now get blasted over here. Get blasted. Pull him off the location. Amaranth running around. He wants to kill everyone. Flaccid hey. uh, gets back in. Flaccid Walrus gets back in. He's driving the MRAP. Amaranth tries to shoot at him. He's gonna drive one of the MRAPs away. Medical. LMFAO, big rip. Pony is my dad. TMI, Medical. TM, friggin' I. Uh, Renzel asking, is reviving allowed? Not for this operation. This is a one life operation. One life operation, um, typical rules are once you hit the give up screen, you're done for the round. You gotta wait for the next one. There are some operations that allow for respawns, some operations that allow for reviving, but this ain't either one of those. 300. Vader still shooting out here and he's getting some rounds come back at him. Now, there's still a scattered INS presence to the west. There's a chance we got Slev one. and... Yeah, I fucking all tapped for a second. This? Like a retard. Yeah, just, just stay down. Language. Oh it's my gosh. Hey, three. These friggin' guys. This is a campaign. This is not a campaign. Um, this is a one life operation. So, this is one of these, um, one-offs that we have most often on the channel. When you see operations that are played, operations sort of are, you know, representative of one life operations. Uh, meanwhile, LOL, uh, US have lost the Western Bridge officially. They're falling back towards these Humvees up on the, uh, on the hill here. Command is trying to skirmish. You could call it a skirmish if you like. The idea is that one life operations, just like most of the operations we do here, they're not scripted per se, but they have specific rules. Dubisco and Lord Chanka. Dubisco runs up over the bridge line. He's still alive, which is kind of amazing. He's still running. He's still alive. He is still alive, and he's running towards 
at Busta. He's still alive. Okay, and it looks like he's caught up with the his medic, Liberal Pundit. That's actually kind of amazing that he made it that far. Considering the U.S. still have a significant force here, but I guess they're sort of focused on survival. The ones in the north just aren't looking at anything. Kills looking at for both sides. Seven kills U.S., five kills INS right now. INS have taken a pretty strong foothold here. Amrath looks like he's digging up this radio. Uh, so the western bridge is gone. Uh, taking a look at the map here. The western bridge at F74 is gone. Inus need two, and then they need to roll on and take, make sure they clear out all the U.S. forces in the area. They need to take two bridges before they can really focus on moving south of the river. To clear out everyone else. Um, it's still, still a, uh, operation in motion right now. Headbuster finding some people to shoot at. Looks like he might have gotten a kill there. He may have been part of an element that got a kill. Rather has got his chap in charge of this element. They're falling south, falling back south. They're probably trying to save that MRAP over there. Looks like Darkness just got killed there by a uh, headbuster. Unfortunate. Or rather, he's got his chap. I think he's fallen back behind the ridge line. We're gonna take a look over here. Ajakan saves the MRAP that was abandoned. Oh, it looks like Redibus is kind of stuck here. Can Redibus find what he's looking to shoot? He doesn't have a good position to do so. He's looking at the opposite ridge line across the river. Like I'm saying, one uh, one life events are, you know, simple operations. The rules are pretty straightforward. The idea is that everyone sort of tries to complete objectives and wins the round. For one life operations, we play both sides. So, free session. So, tonight we'll be uh, seeing... We're seeing the first round right now. We'll be switching sides here and playing the game entirely over. That was a rocket. A little short there. I think they're trying to aim at uh, Hkin's uh, MRAP here. Just ate a rocket there. Oh, Vlada Poutine has the VBIED. Team got TK'd. Uh, and now the VBID blew up and killed a rather Scottish chap. Unfortunate. Uh, I don't know what to say about that play. I mean, I think, I mean, uh, I may have misunderstood what exactly happened. Oh my gosh, the, 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 the loudspeaker playing prayer is kind of, it's actually, not that it's harshy my buzz, but it's just causing a distraction. The idea that, um... INS win? I don't know. They still got two bridges to clear. They got one bridge out of these two to clear. They may have only killed one squad, but right now... 
it's kind of even, if you really think about it, nine kills to seven. I would say it's somewhat of a trade, but they just used their their most explosive asset, literally, to kill a squad leader. Looks like one of the players that was playing uh, Channing says, uh, we screwed up on that hill, lol. We were supposed to hold as long as we could. I mean, I don't know. You're supposed to live as long as you... I mean, uh, I don't know what to say to that. You tried, dude. You know what? A, good on you. B, better luck next time. C, I don't know. I didn't actually follow you the whole time. Yes, uh, actually, we'll take a look at one's, uh, makeup here. It looks like Modern Death and Bartok Warrior is actually another FTL. So when Modern Death dies, Bartok Warrior will be able to take over that squad. So there's still leadership link there in the chain of command. And of course, one was the bottom of the chain of command anyway. So if there's no other squad leads or FTLs alive in the game, technically one of those people become like Platoon Command. Yeah, Jenny, it's all about it's all about learning. Speaking of this is the next bridge that looks like INSR really closing in on. Doesn't look like US are able to save any of their uh MRAPs and put bring them back to it's here. Um the only people that are alive for US off the West Bridge seem to be Vader Satirian and Redibus. Uh, Modern right, Death actually, is shit, somewhere around LNC3 here. Three actually made it out. I'm watching him run down the hill now. Modern Death is him. somewhere around here. Yep. Um, big shrug. I don't know. Maybe Redibus. So looks like Redibus and Vader Centurion don't have um, fan uh, comms. So hopefully we can get them here. Uh, and then with the okay. They are pushing this direction though. Squad 3's command comms are gone. Yeah, they're absolutely gone at this point. Uh, you can tell that by the fact that dead squad leader um, has squad leader role. So, that means both of his designated, um, both of his designated FTLs are dead. If you're unfamiliar with squad ops life events, the chain of command in a squad runs from the squad leader who gets it from the beginning of the round uh, to his FTLs. Typically, it's an Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta hierarchy. Uh, Medical suggesting IED was a decent play, took out the Reese comms. I'm still going to say no. If only because it killed one person. For a massive explosive asset to only kill one person, it seems like a waste. Because a rifle can kill one person if you point at them and aim it at them and shoot them with it. The vehicle-based IED, I think, is more of a general usage against static emplacements. So if there's a guy on an HMG that's gunning at people and you just throw out a vehicle at it and then it just gets destroyed by VBID, I think that's fine. If you just use it, if you're just trolling around a hill and one guy dies because you got TK'd out of the vehicle and you happen to click the explosive before you died, um, I don't think that counts as a smart play. It's a situational play. Yeah, I think this is also their point. Medical saying that both the uh, both the MRAPs it was really chasing are gone, which is also true. Vehicle based IEDs having such destructive power. Um, Chaining's in the chat. It's trees and infantry. There's iffy. Yeah. Um, I like to think of it as. 
to me. I like to think of the VBID is more of a, like, super... Um, it's a super timed explosive, really. Oh, you're excused for the caps, Carter. Just don't let me catch you doing that here again, or else I'll be upset with you. I'll be sad. There's no need to yell in my chat room. I'm just saying that now. I'm laying it out there. There's no need to yell. Uh, there is a, like a, it's like a tiered set of objectives here. The idea is that the INS are looking to destroy two bridges. Once two bridges are destroyed, they, uh, defend the last checkpoint they destroyed until all of their trucks could cross at the end of the round. The idea is that to control the bridge, INS must, um, not allow U.S. within 20 meters of the bridge. So after they take the second bridge, they have to secure it against U.S. attack so that they can have vehicles cross the river. And after that, INS are going to attack and destroy a U.S. Uh, FOB. And then U.S. are going to have to hold out to the end of the round. That's if INS maintain their offensive uh, stance at this point. Is Mill Command down? No, Dorf is uh, still up. It probably is. You know what he's like. Bump is here, but I think Bump is training. Uh, this is one of those random things. If uh, for squad ops members that are more senior that have squad ops or squad leader experience in them, that want to start leading operations, typically they start a shadow sort of like mentoring program within our organization. I believe we're seeing Bump do something like that right now. Sloth is still up for U.S. Command. Um, Sloth is five with the Rockers and the Chevrons. Or the Rocker and the Chevrons, rather. Um, right here. There's three chevrons and a racker. I don't know. I apologize if I'm misusing your military slang, but at this point, um, I apologize. INS forces looking like they really want to take the southern bridge here. What is that? Is that a mine? Is there a mine here? What is that icon? To my right. That's a US mine, guys. That's kind of nuts. That US just blindly throws a, uh, blindly throws a mine out there. This is not something you usually see. You don't usually see a U.S. mine. You see like a like a like a Russian or a Soviet era mine, the ones with the red tops on them. That's the type of, the typical thing that you normally see. A little update on kills here: eight kills U.S., nine kills INS. INS haven't really gotten anything here in the last few minutes. U.S. have picked away at a, a few INS here and there. Ooh, these guys were trying to creep along this, uh, the shoreline here and use the, uh, use the hill as a little bit of a uh, way to advance. They still have a chance to do that, but the problem is the middle bridge guys know they're here now. You can see some more, um, MMG fire come in. Alright, contacts are spotted in Gulf 10 6 6, four times enemy contacts. Advice. 
Well, that's amazing. Look at this guy trying to shut down people that are flanking, like, behind them, pretty much. Like, look at this. Lima Bean is being talked on the target. We're here. It's about 600 meters worth of... Six or seven hundred meters worth well, of distance there. Well, now we know they're gonna try flying. If we lose this one, we have to retake yeah. it. Yeah, okay. That's really nuts. I'm trying to find it. Alright, still seeing up. Lima Bean still throwing rounds that direction. Seems a little bit more blind. I don't think he has eyes on him. Ooh, 50 cal. Taking shots at Dixwell. Dixwell goes down! This was one of the uh, MRAPs that's actually been hit already. West. It's either, um, it's either Wait, Terrapin guys, or, um, you don't get shot. Just see these guys trying to, s trying to eliminate the, uh, Enemy trying to creep up no, on their western side here. Take a look at the map. Your chef brothers. I mean, sure. Copy. That must have been where that lat came from. Was to the west. A little bit of minor confusion might have happened there, but the uh, MRAP back into the other one. Now they're looking north here. What are they looking at? Ooh, Imanos gets hit pretty hard here. Imanos might actually bleed out. Imanos might bleed out. Yep, he bleeds out. Unfortunate. Wow, uh, how unlucky. He got tagged by a uh, 50 cal from an MRAP. Dude, Ertzi's still living over here, and he's been nothing but pinned by MRAPs for this entire round. It's kind of funny. He's even, uh, he's even a lat. Snowfall taking uh, some shots here with this um, FAL. Along the ridge lines. Roger. Keep lighting them up with 50 cal. It's a smart rifle there. Take a look at the lawn darts here. He's got a. Uh, looks like he's got a. AK. Just look at what is he looking at over here for? Lawn darts. What are you looking at, buddy? Tracking them currently, and we're waiting until more gets up there, and then we'll ambush them. Roger, Central Bridge is getting close to uh, having INS near them. Their Lodgy is at the intersection south side of the bridge. Chanka, Doobie Scoo, Stoop, Stoop Kid, Revy, and Liberal Pundit are moving their way towards. What's going on with your, your situation? Doesn't appear to be a real strong defense here. But I guarantee you, Alpha know that they're yeah, to their west. Yeah. You're a good shot, Lex. I want you to kill him like you kill me. <laughs> I'll keep working. He sees Dorf on that hill, 337. Yeah, look at... I mean... Pretty, pretty good. Dorf and Bumper just living on top of that hill. Chanka getting closer here. Towards the uh, U.S. side of the river. 
He's got a PPSH. It's kind of rough to be able to uh, engage at this range. INS making some pretty strong progress here. Look at this line, man. It's about a 1,200 meter line. Well, it's... If you want a spaghetti line, it, it's probably about like a click and a half, but still, I mean... Closer to about, you know, 1,100, 1,200 meter line right now. And they're just pushing east. And they're doing nothing but trying to secure... They're trying to surround the center bridge. And wraps so running in an ammo. As much as possible, so they can't get a headshot on you. Copy. Reloading oh, last pack. Ooh, watch your man just hit a rocket over there? I think Macho Man just hit our lat round, man. Go ahead, Jim. Yo. Wait, this is the bridge. These are the guys that were on the west bridge, or the east bridge, rather. I need two guys back on the point. I don't want them sneaking in on the point. And it looks like they took the MRAP that they had assigned to them and moved it away. Chicken here in the gun. Yeah, pull me out. Pull me out. Taking yeah, Stand by. INS. Pretty decent positions on this hill, man. It's kind of hard to see him without having to zoom in a lot. Although, Stalker's just running around. But that's because he thinks he's safe. He's got a radio on his back, man. He's not safe. Let's take a look at Sebi here. Sebi looks like he... Oh, Sloth is about to go down. Yep, that's because they're running up on... Uh... Wait, what? Why is Sloth about to go down? Alright, I'm still up, I'm still up. Where you taking fire from, man? Command, taking fire from Hotel 10. Hotel 10 in that area. Here's command. Uh, we have a medic up here ready to treat you. If you can make it, keep going. <laughs> Sloth got domed, guys. A placid walrus thought he was gonna be over here and be a cool, be a cool guy. He'll, uh, uh he'll command. Uh, if you lose, not to be. Gun. Wow, I don't even know where that came from. Sloth was somewhere around here, right? So... I guess that means he got sh Did he get shot from his north? Dude, I don't know. What is this? There's a U.S. squad across the river? And they're assaulting INS? Hold on a second. We're gonna take a look at assault here. They're moving on Londarts and company. It looks like they're in the open. Skyline. Uh, you look in where? Where, 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 where? Well, it looks like they have their attention turned back to their southwest. Where? There's friendlies up there. Those MRAPs are friendlies at the friendly. six. I see them. Okay, those are friendlies? That's what you meant, right? Yeah, this? everything to the right of that okay. is free game. Copy, yeah. That's a pretty general direction. Is he shooting? Yep. Oh, you still up? 
system. Who's shooting? Oh, it looks like App and Clay J would be shooting people. Uh, I'm shooting high up. There Ooh. You go. Oh, you're too high. It's like by the road, like down by the road. Ooh, I think yeah. Appa may have I'm eyes on. Uh, I think you should. Yeah, I'm shooting. I don't know. Yeah, you saw that tracer. Uh, okay. Uh. So it's right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Then. Well, that's they just landed. They're right there. They're right on the smoke. Oh lord. We got some uh, smoke mortars coming in from yeah, INS. Crazy. Looks like two separate barrages here. Now. Yes, it looks like it's exploding in midair, but to everyone else on the ground, they're not exploding in midair. Just understand that this is a um, spectator bug. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the uh, INS position here behind the smoke. Try to give a little bit of context here. They're trying to move down on the center bridge. About a, about a squad size force trying to move down on here on the center bridge. This is pretty much blind fire right now. Look at this. Engineer even has... Or Sapper, I guess. Um, or... Sorry, this is actually... Could be a scout, even. Has a shotgun, my dudes. He is wasting rounds at range with a shotgun. G-Man might have eyes on here. Ooh, he's getting shot at. Looks like that's coming from Lima Bean here. He's still in that window with Li with Chef Daniel. Lima Bean actually got some more accurate fire coming in here. Ines trying to shift uh, a little bit more to their north to get down the hill. Grenades coming in. Looks like Chanka just stayed a grenade. Kilo nine, four, seven. Patrick Star and Lex Ryan is still living in here in this compound. They're the last defenders of the central bridge. Lex is literally camping a door. Um, let's see, what is uh? Let's look at you. Patrick is also camping a door. He's almost eating bullets. Yeah, contact Northwest Hill as well. Copy. Copy that. I'm watching. Revy moving West close here. here. Maybe Revy and Stoop Kid coming into his uh, west or uh, southern entrance here. Behind you. Uh, my door, my front. They're gonna frag me. Lex survives the frag. There are three guys outside this door, and Lex is dead. Unfortunate. Uh, Patrick, now the last one alive here. Patrick has to bleed- is bleeding here, so he's got a bandage. Multiple grenade- multiple bandages happening here. That's kind of a weird sound thing. Uh... Oh, looks like they might be trying to take a look at Patrick here. Patrick, moving! Biggin probably saw him. Boogie moving in. <laughs> That's amazing. Patrick laid his breaching charge and he ran and Boogie ate it. Patrick had shot up on his way out though. Wow. What a bait. With Boogie dead, though, that means that G-Man can just sit here and, uh, switch to his shovel and start doing the radio. A lot more dead here. We're looking at 20 kills for INS, 22 kills for US. It's still pretty close, all things considered. And now G-Man is, uh, he's still got his rifle looking at the radio here. Nope, now he's got a shovel. Okay, good for him. 
Lima and uh, Chef Daniel here are just okay. shooting it. A... Can't fucking bipod. Why? Hello? There we go. I'm very open right now, but it's whatever. Where? Northwest? No chance is yeah. northwest. Ow, I'm hurt. Just get down, Daniel. I legit jumped off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel, stand right beneath me so I can jump down. U.S. must retake India 9-1. Thank you, sir. That is the second checkpoint. Oh, Alright, now we're going defensive positions. I'm holding this corner. So, at this point, since INS have taken their second bridge and they've dug the radio, INS are now going to converge on this location and hold it out until the end of the round. Wow, they even almost cleared out the eastern bridge because U.S. just gave up on it. Wow. Um, unfortunate for the INS here. Looks like they're going to have to deal with, um... U.S. having a more concave position on INS forces. Yeah, uh, no, I didn't get Daniel didn't get hit. What are you talking about? Daniel's cool. People don't get hit. Cuba and Hawk are running up a hill over here to the uh, south. They're not talking to each other right now. Minus technically, they're still technically losing by one question mark. There's still a shotgun being fired at range here. Bacon is literally shooting a shotgun at dark milkshake and frost on top of this hill, guys. That is nuts. Inus holding pretty good here. Even Dorf and uh, Bump have come down to survey their new uh, holding area. Ooh, looks like Sebu just ate a frag rocket. Oof. Naked Batman, tired of shooting a shotgun at 200 plus meter range, just switched to his pistol. Looks like Bacon Batman's given up on being effective. Rubber Pelican, on the other hand, though, he's living life. It's bunch for anyone to come through this door just to knock on it. U.S. forces consolidating, but uh, it's going to be a little while before Chicken gets there, for crying out loud. Chicken's... Most out of place U.S. element right now. U.S. forces trying to come down this hill, get closer towards the mill bridge. U.S. is going to have to retake this bridge. Something tells me one of these uh, MRAPs are out of ammo. Or even both of them at this point. So it looks like the infantry have dismounted these vehicles and they're moving on foot. Shots being fired here. Honor Death's trying to organize some sort of movement here. Still taking a little bit of time here. Someone's shooting a shotgun at us. Don't get shot is incredulous at the fact that someone is shooting a shotgun in their general direction. Of course, it's just Bacon shooting up the opposite hill. Because he doesn't know what else to do. Because he has no effective weapons. He's going to reload his shotgun here. Puts a couple of shells in. What else is he going to do? He talks to G-Man. He gets his Binox out. Hey buddy, what do you think about uh, maybe shooting at some enemies here? 
I can't do anything, but uh, maybe you can. Oh yeah, maybe I could just shoot at people over here. It looks like there's some U.S. people over here living on the other side of this uh, river here. I don't know. Maybe you can see them with your binoculars. Well, I'll go up this hill and maybe see if I can see them. I'll just run around like I'm crazy because my shotgun and my pistol aren't going to do anything at 200 meter range. Oh yeah, well maybe why don't, why don't you just uh, just sit here. Maybe I'll see something you can shoot at. I'll tell you what to do. It's my interpretation of what uh, INS life is like right now. And then Bacon Batman gets shot by uh, Koopa and Hawk, who randomly come back into a battle here. Dude, you want us to come up with it? Negative four. Screw me, this is what happens when I watch too much Letter Kenny and try to do a Canadian accent and try to explain what's going on. Koopa's zigzagging down a hill. Uh, <laughs> what was that commit? Daniel, what was that? Koopa's not getting close to us, Roger. What is that? What does that communication mean? Hawk trying to give Koopa a little bit of cover here. What is Koopa gonna do now? <clears throat> it looks like Modern Death gets in and out of another vehicle again. Everyone's starting to converge on this middle bridge here in Indian 9 1. It's still even right now. All right, one, let's get the clap on this bridge. Did Koopa just kill Money Man? Eyes on northeast contact. Shooting at you two from the What? We're gonna uh, one, just go ahead and send rounds at him. Yeah, just send rounds at him. Just keep him on the hill. Lime Bean and Daniel getting closer very slowly here towards the main compound, where the radio used to be for the middle bridge. This is so bad. This is so god. I'll be right I honestly just want to die and eat my ice cream. I honestly want to die too. Let's fucking do it. Okay, it's so... Good. We're gonna get so many kills, it's fine. Watch this, Daniel. Lima Bean and Daniel just running in here. in here. Clearly, they just, just want to die, but you know. Hold on, be quiet. I'm going to hear if anybody's in here. You definitely heard the rope pelican. You, uh, you hear that? I just I just moved. I think there's oh. one in here. I don't know. I think there might be one in there. Who knows? They're going to run around here. Maybe G Man is I next on the list. Roof, to be honest, I'll say fuck it. I don't know Daniel, where I want to do you, do you really want to do these buildings? Do you <laughs> no, really I want to? No, I really don't. Hey, Kuba. Yo, thanks for- Oh, we want to go on those sandbags right in, right up top of us. Like, right there. Yeah. No, please. Thank you. Fuck clearing the building. Yeah, I'm not doing that shit right now. No chance. Literally no chance. Yo, Cube. Thanks for fucking us over. They're coming from the northeast now. It's the right, fucking squad one shooting over there. On the hill and check. Just try to keep them on the hill if you can. Yeah, we're currently engaging it. All right, we're Hawk and Cuba. Um, did Daniel just call up Cuba? Or just work with Cuba to push the bridge. Crossing the valley. All right, Cuba's crossing. I cross. The hawk doesn't even know what's going on. Hi. What is going on here? Do I want to clear the building? Oh, it looks like a. Uh, save you guys. You want me to clear the buildings? I'll clear them. Yeah. Who just engaged? Mind? Hey, you guys know the second north bridge? They're on this. They're under the second north bridge. So they're under this north I don't know bridge. if that makes sense. They're under the bridge on the second one, yeah. This okay, one? then let's this push. Bridge. This 
Ooh. second one. Yeah, they're like the second Looks one. like Hawk wants to get in here. G-Man's in Let's this push. first building here. Hawk moved fast. Oh, and G-Man wasn't looking. <laughs> Robo Pelican gets one. You kill him, Daniel? Daniel, yeah. you get him? It's clear in here. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's oh, yeah. Fuck. Cuba, cop man. He nice. called him Come Cuba on. again. Oh my gosh. Robo Pelican in the next, next room. He called him Cuba I'm again. Too, I'm scared too. Oh my gosh. Should I play Phoenix and try to be last of the lot? No, darn it. Just play. Alright, take a look at the overall again. No chance. And oh, it this looks, is such a bad spot. Looks like uh, US have a little bit of the upper hand here. 29 kills to 30. Or tw sorry, there's 25 here. Uh, as far as INS remaining, Sergeant oh. Jackson on point. There's still people off the point, but INS need to get I back here to Indian 9. Damage. Time to grieve, bro. Not grieve, sorry, grieve. Yeah, I mean, we're grieving. Side the under northern side of the bridge, one contact. Daniel's holding this building, but they need to clear the bridge, so... No, I'm sorry, is there two guys in here? I'll regroup them with, it, with you guys. They need to clear the bridge, and looks like, uh... Clay J's running this away. What is that? And it looks like Larchanka and Sergeant Jackson. Wait, maybe it's just Sergeant Jackson. Yeah, it's just Sergeant Jackson. Sorry? Okay, is that you moving around? That's me moving out there, yeah. Okay, good. There are guys on the outside, on the north bridge. I don't like- So the bridge I'm right in someone. front of us. Yeah, but the most northern one, there's two in front of us. They're like two different- Wait, what? Uh, Did the close one or the far one? <laughs> the far one, the far one. The, uh, bridge. So, like, give Rope me a Pelicans. Map. Oh my. Uh, India 914. Under the bridge. That's a legit close one. Copy. What do you mean? That's uh, the close... I'm just gonna let this play out because there's honestly nothing else I can <laughs> say. Close bridge. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's clearly two different bridges. They're just sort of, they look the same. Clay, if anybody needs medical, tell them. I kind of do want to push that bridge. I'm walking around outside like a goof, honestly. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm- I'm just holding this building till I get right, yelled at by Clay. Robo Pelican's still living inside this building behind the, uh, little porthole sandbag that he's built here. INS left. I think we're down to, like, about six. One, two, three, four, five, Shut six. It, there's guys under the bridge. They haven't made a chance to clear Robo Pelican here. A buddy team... Oh, so it's seven, actually. Uh, looks like Earthsea, yeah, Thinbones with the Harve living on top of this hill off the point. And uh, Snowfall and Lawn Darts are making a point to try Boy, to reinforce death, Sergeant fun. Jackson. Uh, while that happens, they're moving towards Sergeant Jackson's location, but Appa is sort of on this hill. Did he just shoot in? Nope. Alpha just kills Londars. Londars was shooting at someone. I think Londars was shooting at Clay J. Snowfall turns and kills Appa. Clay J and Clay J and Chicken are still up. They're moving towards Sergeant Jackson's building. Oh, is he gonna place a C4? Oh, brilliant! What is Sergeant Jackson gonna do? He hears it. He runs out. He runs out. He runs, out. He runs to the east. He's just gonna change buildings here. Yeah, copy. That's, That's well brilliant. That's a, what a brilliant move here. And Snowfall's gonna be able to get on top of the building here. Snowfall may be getting shot up here. Oh, I think he's dead. U.S. has regained control of the bridge now. So it's up to Sergeant Jackson to clear it. 
The remaining INS forces are going to have to move in here. Uh, looks like that's going to be uh, Ertzi, the Harve, at all. Sergeant Jackson dies. That wasn't a shock. U.S. have regained control of the bridge. So at this point, there's three INS left, I imagine? I say imagine, but I should know. There's three INS, and they're moving south down the hill here. U.S. have regained control of the bridge, and they're going to start setting up security here. This is just a long, drawn-out operation, guys. It's... It's been a minute since we went live. All right, just trying to get bicep your bipod down. And, uh... Pelver Pelkin got out! What is he doing? He threw a grenade in and... Uh, is that... That was a nade. Oh, I think that was a team nade. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, the... Where, where, where the f... Where was it? Where was it? Where did you hear it? What's right? I don't know. Uh, northwest. Don't Are quote... In the river? Daniel, where was that from, bud? Don't quote me. Uh, I think northwest... In My nade was north. north. It was in the river, maybe. Bottom of the river. Is Koopa gonna run up here on a rope pelican? Whoever threw that needs a god. In the river south side. Where, where was it? Where did it land, Daniel? Tell me where it landed. Like, right... Right be... Oh, like, right no. on the... Floor. I can't... There's a trade. From a pelican, peeks around the corner, tries to kill Koopa... And trades with Koopa in the end. I don't have eyes on, thank you, bitch, dog. Alright, we have control of the bridge. He called oh, Cuba again. Like oh my Cuba. gosh. It's Cuba. Moin, keep eyes on our hill to the north. Cop. We're moving in a better position for Overwatch on both of you guys. Alright, let's see here. Uh, ooh, they are can't south of the river. We knew that was gonna happen. They're running towards the MRAPs, so they're going to be assaulting down the hill from the top of it. There's just three guys against, uh, looks like maybe... Oh, no. INS have two minutes to clear the bridge, which isn't actually ever going to happen. So, looks like a U.S. win here. One, two, three, four, five, six U.S. against three INS. 3NS coming over the uh, hill here. So let's talk about what actually happened in that entire operation. Because, whew, let's just brief here and think about what actually happened. US had three bridges. Throw up with a screen gun, just so you guys know what is actually going on here with these three bridges. INS tried to really attack <clears throat> the western bridge. They did, a, they did a good job. They caused US to pull off the bridges. In doing so, they were able to get a few more kills because they sort of pincer attacked the first bridge, the west bridge, right? They attacked from the... They attacked from the north uh, east, they attacked from the northwest. They came in on the other side, the same side of the river that the US were on. The, the real idea behind that first attack was it was just necessary. They had to pick one of the other bridges, and then they moved along to the second bridge. Now, U.S. had pulled off some additional troops from the east bridge. They just gave up the east bridge, and they tried to reinforce their efforts to try to hold the middle ground. It worked out for them in everywhere but the actual middle ground itself. U.S. just didn't have enough people... They were too defensive, they got stuck inside the buildings, they weren't able to really hold their own there. And the fact that they lost so many MRAPs going into the round meant that INS were able to get in. Now, that said, INS were a little weak once they had actually finished assaulting the compound. I, US were able to retake it eventually. There was just not enough proactive INS forces remaining on the point to drive the US off it. So U.S. were able to regain control of the point, 
And uh, we're in the situation where we are right now. The remaining INS forces are forced to reconsolidate. And they've run all the way to the south side of the river. They're now coming down the hill. They're moving towards uh, Flaccid Walrus here. And Don't Get Shot is actually on the other side of this. It's a very cheeky position on the other side of the sandbag. Um, where did Modern Death go? I thought he was still alive. He came all the way up to the top of the hill, and now he's shooting them from behind. Thin Bones goes down. The Harv is now sort of stuck here. Artsy doesn't know what to do. Harv is turned towards Modern Death. Uh, Harv eats a grenade. So it's just down to Artsy now. What is Artsy going to do? He's going to load frag. He loads frag. He switches back to his rifle because Flash it's too close. And he gets killed by Duncan Shot going up over the hill. That should be GG here for round one. That is. Round one goes to US. I would like to apologize if my Nokia ringtone didn't sound. Oh my god, we're live. I'm going to shut up now. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> so right uh round two is live now of uh operation uh zulodon oh my gosh look at this insanity there are motorbikes guys guys there are motor i have to i have to i have to i have to see this guys there are motorbikes by the way in case you're interested <clears throat> U.S. forces led by Dorf this round with Boogie, Revy, Stalker, and the Harv as squad leaders. U.S. are, sorry, INS this round led by Sloth with Dr. Canine, Assault, Alpha Guido, and a rather scattered chap. This is nuts to the nth degree. Motorcycles are running straight towards the... What, they're running straight towards the QRF force that are actually still in their place. Um... Lex is dead. Alpha's stuck in the middle of the road. What the f is going on here, guys? Um, why does the US Army have the same ringtone? It's the Nokia ringtone. Scrooby. Scrooby, I don't want to have to ban you from this chat for being bad. That's what the Autobot is here for, but I'm saying to you personally, if you didn't recognize my rendition of the Nokia ringtone, I apologize, but still. NSA spies down too. This is some pretty early casualties here from INS. They were trying to move through. I don't, ex I don't think they expected... Uh, let's take a look at the map here, actually, because that explains a lot. INS QRF can actually start here in this village up in the north. We saw them start in the south before. Hey, I gotta get out and heal. But, not the case. Now, since the INS started in the north part as well, the Bravo 4 main for INS, they're allowed to have such thing as a vehicle on this map. And therefore, they threw all of their vehicles this direction. One of the uh, maps actually just got hit with an uh, with a lat. They're over the hills, they're over the hills, they're over the hills. Pony's getting shot at. RPG misses. Are we hit? Nice freaking juke, actually. Now, I have, I have they have this. lost a... They have lost a wheel. Yeah, I can cover it. Looks like they've ah. lost uh, two wheels, actually. Both their front wheels. But that's something they can repair. Uh, we're looking at the rest of the vi less of the movement near them. Everyone's basically gotten off of their motorcycles. We about an entire squad's worth. It seems we're to be engaging about tires. two Copy. MRAPs here. Brevi is helping the other MRAP throw some rounds to their north here. Doesn't appear to be effective pretty much at all, but... 
Um, Mighty repairs the MRAP, gets the tires changed. Good on him. What? 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 Oh, you know what? That's a great reminder. I should join command comms. What should I join command comms as? Um, Letter Kenny is a great show. Bing. Now we're on the command comms. Looks like they had to uh, abandon one of the MRAPs here. Reloading. QRF got oofed out here. Oh, looks like that's the VBID. No, that's one of the transports. Expit is driving. So, with that bit of drama done with the beginning of the round, let's look at what actually else is going on here. Um, yo, this is nuts. Missed opportunity for toughest and letter, Kenny. I can't claim to be the toughest, uh, the toughest, toughest guy in town because I'm not. That would be wrong. Also, we don't have no one in squad ops is, uh, has the nickname of Wayne. So. Uh, Full stop. Oh, yeah, you're in That's just a wrong thing to yeah, claim. Also, I just discovered Leonard Kenny like literally this weekend. So yeah, you guys, once I watch, once I watch that series a second time, I'm gonna start dropping all of the references I can. You guys are done for. I'm gonna give you a sandbag facing this way. Facing north, I'm just in case. Fucking tree. Okay. Yeah. Looks like U.S. forces haven't really been touched here okay, along with their main. Uh, I'm, I'm engineer. Their main stuff. Uh, there is a Clay J looking at the central bridge, but no one else is actually near here. This is so weird. We're gonna take a look at see what's going on here closer to the south. Looks like a lot more infantry than I actually gave him credit for. Yeah, um, it's two squads. Command is down, command is down. Oh no. Dorf got killed? What? Hold on. Why is Dorf dead? Why is Dorf dead? RPG, uh, shot in the middle of nowhere, looks like. A little off. Uh... Scott's chap is dead. That's bad news. That means one of the INS, uh... One of the INS squad leaders is also dead. Firefighting across the river, uh, north of my position. Uh... With U.S. command dead, that's a large chunk of their brain power gone. It's going to require a lot more of the uh, on-the-fly thinking by the squad leaders. Squad four. Squad four is any Bump is still alive, so he yeah. might be able to assume. I think he might be assuming command seven. here, so, uh, have... or he may not be. They're more in the bushes just the west. 
Put some rounds in the trees just west. Look at uh, how the U.S. are able to respond against some of these INS invaders here. Load up. Shove your thumb up your Loading. Let's get this going. All right, anybody else got anything else to report? Oh, left side. 340. 340. Am I allowed to build as much as I want? I don't know. As much as you have uh, stuff on you. Bartok, uh, part of this element getting shot here by that AR on the roof. Don't get shot. Maybe Bartok, maybe not so much getting shot, but don't get shot. Definitely being shot at. Alright guys, we have some contact northeast of me at J951. Uh, we're handling that with our MRAP. Oh no, that burst of fire actually killed someone on the US side. They killed Ertzi. On the roof of that building with snowfall. Unfortunate. Uh, six kills for US, three kills for INS. Considering live only happened like what, not even ten minutes ago, it's pretty close. Take a look at some other positions here. Looks like it's going to be more of a east to west push for INS forces. Although, oh no, looks like there's considerable number of uh, number of forces being able to withdraw. Withdraw out of the Western attack on the QRF base. A time of Peach, Alpha Guido, Lima, and Lima being on the far side. Looks like Daniel driving a motorcycle by himself. Doesn't know what to do. Question mark, question mark, question mark. He all, looks like he almost slid out there. No, I'm sure Daniel's fine. Uh, oh, it looks like another civilian vehicle moving towards the uh, Western checkpoint. Meanwhile, Eastern checkpoints completely under attack right now. Uh, wait one everyone. I gotta read this message in the chat. Rather this guy's chat, uh, saying in chat. So what we're gonna do... Sorry, I don't have the Scottish accent, but you just have to imagine it, guys. So what we're gonna do is pincer maneuver on the middle bridge at India 9-1. Me and Alpha where gonna wrap around the south. The K-9 and Assault were gonna be in the north. Unfortunately, Alpha forgot QRF could spawn where they spawned. Uh, and we ran into them. Nice. Well, unfortunate as that may seem. This could be a problem here. Seven kills right now for US, five kills for INS. Take a look here at the, uh, the central uh, bridge. U.S. forces have built up considerable uh, defenses here on the south side of the bridge. Jack 800 even, he's got himself plenty of sandbags here, and he's got an MMG, actually. Jack just going to throw. Uh, he's looking for people to shoot. Doesn't look like... This uh, squad of assault up here has actually been detected slash engaging the U.S. forces yet. Okay. Oh, it's starting Jack. I'm taking over for uh, Harvard's platoon. I got, I'm down oh, with no. the fire team. I got contact to my northwest and to my northeast over across the river. Copy. How is the uh, enemy presence over there? Are they pushing you or are they just suppressing you? Right now, it seems that's suppressing, uh, but they are hitting me from two different directions. So they might be sending in an element while being suppressed over. Which direction? Stand by for grid. Lundarts just died on our okay, roof. Yes. Oh my god. These guys are getting screwed up. Is your AMRAP still up and able? 
Roger it is, but every time we get in it, they start zeroing in on us with RPGs and gunfire. Copy. Keep your heads down and let me know if, if they start to push you. If they start to push you, um, try to see if you can stick it out or we'll have to push you back. Lots of rounds lined right. around these guys right now. It's just Dr. K9 space biking and Tinkerbell up here on this hill. They're able to bring it on a significant uh, portion of lead in that direction. Um, I'm not sure what Bart Modern Death of Bartok. They're hiding pretty well. Terrapin might have some eyes on. And don't get shots maneuvering. I think he's got an AR. Here's the INS perspective of the uh, U.S. per U.S. area. Ooh, here we go. Bartok's got himself uh, frag loaded. That's what he's going to shoot out here. Uh, maybe he's thinking twice about what he's going to do. Modern Death sort of giving it Bartok's position away with the shots here. And Bartok crawling back up here. Eamon. He seems to throw a frag rocket pretty blindly. No, he's not gonna shoot. Possible movement east of the river in the town. Uh. Squad one. Go ahead. They might be running up on four. There's a significant number of troops over here on the uh, the Western Bridge, but the Central Bridge is really where they wanted to hit. If they really wanted to hit anything. Is there any way you can send a buddy team on the top to kind of scout out? The bridge too is, is covered on the west. I can't tell what Bartok's trying to shoot out here. I guess they think someone's trying to get in the gun of the uh, MRAP. Bartok is pretty much hitting all of his shots on the turret of the MRAP. Looks like a uh, civilian vehicle is moving towards the uh, bridge over here in the east, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is a civilian vehicle anymore. Look at that amount of gas back there, my dudes. Um, that's wrong. About 12 different levels. That, that shouldn't, that's not right. I don't care who you are. Now these guys over here on the east are holding, even though their squad leader says they lost about a fire team's worth of folks. Which is just about right. It's about a fire team plus their squad leader really holding this location right now. I'm gonna fly back over here and take a look at the west. Because I heard Delta 9 getting called out. Kind of weird if I guess we're on Delta 9 right now though, right? That would be weird if they were on Delta 9 right now. Although, but they're in Echo 9 right now. Amendment to the original call, there are two squads at that grid. They're likely attempting to take high ground towards our All right, so it looks like they have some guys to uh, my west. That's so weird. 
So they got off their bikes and they ran straight southwest, question mark? And they were trying to... So I guess they want to ditch the western bridge and they really want to put pressure on these eastern bridges. Oh, that has to be what's going on here. The idea that they're just going to give up, that INS are going to give up trying to assault the western bridge... It's kind of rough. Personally, I think it's the easiest bridge to take. They were headed but maybe they really yeah. do respect the Copy number of so troops so. that U.S. have thrown over there. Copy. All right. Get in defensive positions and wait for them to come to you. Have they made you yet? And both of the other U.S. positions Where are, are under right? strength. They haven't really hit Copy. Us. It's just... Uh, it was just a lat and a, uh, scout over here on the, uh, north side of four, uh, for INS, trying to engage two squads worth of U.S. forces right now. Uh, everything is all right here. Uh, Rupa Pelican is fire. even uh, moving his the, guys uh, west. They have an that, MRAP well. here with squad one, maybe strong. even two, actually. Make sure that your guys have a head on a swivel here. And they're trying to move copy. towards... Boogies, Lev, G-Man, looks like Evan SMA are living here at the Central Bridge, and they're expecting contact to their west, which is smart. Um, Bacon Batman is soloing an MRAP up the hill. Maybe Evan's going to go over here to try to run up towards Bacon. Something tells me Bacon just lost his gunner. Oh, no, I know what happened. Bacon got himself stuck on a rock. Unfortunate. Command, be advised, they drove me back across the bridge. We took out the driver. Copy, is it blue? Because that thing, it goes boom. Yep, it is blue, over. Get away from it, get away from it. 50 meters away from it, at least. This is urgent, urgent, urgent. Looks like uh, a civilian drove a VBIED across the bridge and they killed the driver of the vehicle. However, the vehicle is still stationary. They're about to destroy you here. They might have killed a civilian. <laughs> yeah, squad three, I think he killed a civilian. They killed a civilian, but the vehicle uh, is not safe. Make sure there's if there's any bombs in the back there. They're gonna have to visually identify this vehicle. That's kind of rough right now. If this vehicle explodes. Okay, I think I have to pour myself a drink now. Um, Jackson survived after the VBID exploded. Um, kind of amazing. I thought the VBID would actually have killed him. They're still getting shots from their northeast. Space Viking is just throwing rounds from the northeast here. Ooh, they got these windows. And watch out, Grant. They got a lucky round if you fly through these and hit you. Yeah, the other scout's chap. I think the secondary explosion is part of the original explosion. But just, I think it's scripted together like that. These guys have actually got snowfall pinned. In this building. How unfortunate is that, actually? In which case, you cannot hold Xville South and link up back with bridge number two. So bridge number one is Revy's, bridge number two is mine, bridge number three is your sergeant. So if that's the case, you can't hold 
Actual south, cut towards our bridge. Copy. Roger that. Now, there's a big problem if Sergeant Jackson wants to abandon his position, he's going to run into a fire team moving to his uh, south here. This is Kuba and Dark Milkshake with Oddball. They got a pretty good situation going on for them right here. Making if they no hop guys. in this minaret, maybe cut off this road, serious problems. Doodle Bridge still relatively quiet. INS forces are looking to focus on this eastern bridge, but that's not to say they're not ready to take this second bridge in the middle here. Two squads in reserve, though, could be a large enough of a force to really cause INS some problems here once they finish taking these two bridges. Because they have to clear everybody off these two bridges. Uh, for INS to complete their objective. Moving back to take a look at the Western Bridge here, because they're pretty much surrounded. Or, sorry, the Eastern Bridge here, because they're pretty much surrounded. Fire Team Plus element to their direct west. A fire team maneuvering on their south, about a squad sized force covering their north. And Sergeant is now down to uh, five people defending his. Bridge. Uh, fire team went to their south and now started taking more of a uh, going up a hill here. Expid running away from him actually. Uh, I don't know what expert is doing there. Oh no, it looks like four may have uh, abandoned their eastern attack here and they're starting to go down they're the hill of the central. Squad. That's not good. In the grand scheme of things, a full squad versus half a squad moving down the reverse slope is kind of oof. I think Jack 800 may have opened up on the fire team moving down the hill here, but I don't think he's able to... Nope. Jack 800 gets shot in the face by Lima Bean and Daniel, I think. Maybe Alpha Guido as well. Uh, this uh, INS force now looking... Putting the central bridge square in their sights right now. Which is bad because Boogie's technically in charge of the platoon right now. We're going to take a look at this eastern bridge here. They don't know it yet, but they're surrounded to their south. If Sergeant Jackson decides to call a retreat and move south here... Yeah, his element's done. Uh, right now, still five U.S. in and around their side of the river here. Oddball, Dark Milkshake, and, um... I'm sorry, who is this? Kuba is starting to move in closer to him. And he's got, uh, Clay, Frost, Appa, and Chicken covering their south. Look at Dark Ship, Dark Milkshake's position here. He's the INS in the bottom of the screen right now. Absolutely nuts. Check out 100. Tell me in chat here. The squad comms are absolutely insane. Only heard a footstep too late. You got walked over by a fire team, bud. Um, rough. 
but what can you do? The solution is local volume 150, effects volume 100, squad comms 100. I don't know. That's just how I am able to at least hear someone close to me, but... The priority has to be on local comms. Maybe too much squad comms. It happens. No, I believe you, Jack. I know you're I know you're pro at this game. The difference is that not every squad obviously sometimes when we when we play these events, squads are not exactly things you sign up for. You sign up for participation. You don't sign up to participate in a specific squad. Um NSF what? Where? Are you insane right now? They killed a civilian? Be advised, Boogie's down. I'm taking over for his squad. Wait. So... My understanding was, if US killed a civilian, INS got mortar support. Oh hey, by the way, the middle man, the middle bridge, uh, completely screwed. G-Man, lucky enough to be not on the point as everyone else in the middle clears. So, U.S. forces in the north here need to start moving away, I think. Do you guys want me to go help them out? Uh, do you want me to go help squad two? It's probably not worth it. They, there's quite a few contacts and I'm the only one here right now. I think G-Man's gonna try to close in uh, here, okay, but... We now have command to our, uh, contact to our southeast. And the eastern bridge just now realized there are people behind him. Vader Centurion's moving closer to help secure the area, but G-Man's starting to get shot here by Atomic Peach. Because Atomic Peach can see everything ever, period. If you think you can't see it, Tom Peach can see it. And there you go. G-Man gets uh, snuck up on by Alpha Guido. Bridge 2 is definitely under INS control now. And soon the Eastern Bridge will be also under INS control. Where are we going, one? We're gonna go over here and watch this happen. Right now, 15 kills US, 15 kills INS. It's still pretty even, all things considered, but... US have so much of their force on the western side of the map. It seems like it's gonna be a, a US retake of this bridge area. Space Viking, Dark Milkshake, Kuba, Tinkerbell starting to move close. Grenades coming in. More INS grenades coming up and over the wall here. Uh, what do you want? Sorry. Do you repeat that? No, I said uh, make sure SL calls out in the south compound. They're in that compound? They're in this they're in the compound with us. They're right next door. Tell them they're probably gonna secure the radio momentarily. Tinkerbell's trying to find a way into the okay, building. Let's come through my door. Uh, Alright, uh command, we got I hear him on the other side. the uh, compound just south of our position. Uh, squad six. Hmm. Got one. Good kill, good kill. I'm moving to support you. I'm moving to support you. Yeah, I don't know if that was the best idea, Tinkerbell, but it happened, so. I whoops. The, uh, Space Viking, uh, Kuba, and Dark Milkshake fire. still up here. Oh, I think Kuba just took a shot at yeah, uh, close, Bump. Close, close northeast. Uh, I hear them, I hear them, they're close. Another one's coming. Medic, as long as you watch our eastern door, we can hold this down. Yep, I'm watching. Oh, they lifted, uh, they boosted Kuba up on top of the roof here. They can do the same thing with Space Viking. Oh, Space Viking, Space Viking almost got up on the roof here. 
You just gotta be. You just gotta, just gotta no, spam so that uh, climb button here. I'm just gonna throw a frag out the door. Hold on. There's really no reason why you shouldn't be able to get up here. Uh, fuck you, bitch. Whoa, language bump. He's still up. I think Oddball sure. was he, he taking. Me, to be totally honest. Hey, someone just jumped over. Copy. Ow! What the fuck? East, 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 east. I got the mini. I got in the corner because I had to reload. I'm red. Uh, well, Space no, Viking no, no. had the wrong idea there, got destroyed. Grunt also destroyed through. Bump gets a grenade. Oddball comes in and clears with chicken. Dark milkshake right behind. Kuba gets shot from on top of the roof by uh, Money Man, I think. He falls back. Inus hold control of the eastern bridge right now. Uh, we'll take a look at the map here. Yep, there's about two squads roving about this area, including uh, INS Command. No, we're not. We just don't want to give away our position with the loud M raps. Yeah, it's all okay, this is, this is chicken planning to bind? Uh, no, he's so chicken's planning a. What's that? As we can. <laughs> That's probably a time charge. Um, so Thin Bones literally, all he can do is run out of the building. Or just chill here and hope he doesn't die. Money Man trades with Vader Satyrian on the other side here, though. Maybe Monitor does shot Money Man in the back. Uh, looks like the time charge doesn't kill Thin Bones. Thin Bones still up. INS starting to mobilize, trying to clear this area here. Once the INS clears this bridge, this is the bridge they're going to hold until the end of the round. U.S. forces starting to make their way downtown. Chicken dead, though. Thin Bones still living. And I think Kuba sees Thin Bones' uh, rifle barrel through the window here. Uh... Up while watching the door. Kuba going in. Yeah, Kuba got him. Big oof. So that's it. Uh, US now control, or sorry, INS now control two bridges. Actually, do they control two bridges? INS are going to hold this second bridge, I think. I think it's up to the uh, admins to make that rolling since it appears that they've actually given up the second bridge. But I believe that's two bridges cleared for INS. They're going to hold the middle bridge here once they clear down this radio for US. They're going to clear down this US radio here, Clay Jane Frost. INS starting to actually uh, organize some defense here. US forces. They really only have two squads effective left. Right now we're looking at 19 kills US, 20 kills for INS. Is still right down the middle. All things considered, but that's going on with this round. The botch to sold at the start. U.S. being slow to respond. INS coming across the river, making real attempts to uh, clear off U.S. forces and succeeding. Ultimately, INS forces at parity with U.S. remaining forces here. Right now we're looking at 19 kills US, 20 kills INS. Um, and I believe we're entering maybe the half hour mark. Mm, that's a good question. When do we go live? Live at 740. So about 40 minutes uh, from go. We're still even about half of the uh, platoon down for both teams. U.S. might have a chance here, being relatively more organized. The main problem is... INS are going to be on the defensive here. They're not going to have a lot of forces off the point. Only... Uh, two, four, six, seven people off the point for INS. Everyone else is living on this last bridge area.
and U.S. are still making tracks, trying to retake this. Uh, is wait, are these people's alive? Yeah, it's Bonner Death and Far Side living up on this hill here. Probably the more exposed INS element here. Their only saving grace is they don't have this little mini hill, little shelf part of the seal here uh, to their north. If they had this shelf. Uh, they didn't have this shelf here, rather. Um, guarantee you, Mondeth getting shot at from the north right now. But it appears that U.S. able to slip some troops here, getting closer. Uh, squads with the most kill with the most kills right now. Looking like Squad Three here. Uh, surviving member. Nope, they're all dead actually. Nine kills, but everyone else is dead in Squad Three for U.S. So, I believe Squad Three was part of the Eastern assault. Uh, the Eastern hold here. Honor death actually. One will be across the river in about thirty seconds. We'll start up. Not looking. Here, is anyone looking in this direction? Question mark. Uh, I think Peach just got out of the minaret here next to the school. What's Terrapin doing? Is he about ready to get shot here from his uh, west? Hmm, interesting. Uh, Terrapin actually has moved off the point. Don't get shot, Alpha Guido. Atomic Peach moving north of the bridge. Getting shot up here. Terrapin takes a bullet. Takes two. Goes down. Lord Chaka and Doobie Scoop probably responsible for that. Oof. And then now they're just taking a shot at the bridge. Alpha Guido and Atomic Peach having a hold position. Don't get shot. I think he returned a, uh, a few rounds there. I think he believes he's stuck. He just threw a grenade, a uh, smoke grenade to his 2-5, so... He's trying to let this thing pop up so he can run a ways. Ooh, Doopy just got killed in the rope. River here. Unfortunate. The smoke could help uh, Don't Get Shot really fall back east here. One, we're pushing up hard. We're going to try to support you the best we can. There's a second grenade. Uh, let's see where that second smoke lands. Hmm. Not sure where. U.S. forces... Oop. A rocket lands near Lord Chaka here. How's this Lord Chaka to fall back by the... Lord Chaka was... Lord Chaka had a huge rock between him and that exploded RPG in all cases here. 20 kills US, 21 kills INS. INS with a slight upper hand here, but it's really not by much. With the US having to push back into them, it's a really good chance that INS might actually have a uh, shot to pull this off here. Still too close to call. I think uh, Duncan's shot here is taking some shots towards... Um, Squad leading for squad four. I think he's making shots towards, uh, who's this, uh, uh, our Amaranth. Yep. Amaranth pushes, or pulls back from the, uh, top of the hill. And, um, don't get shot. Completely pulls off that position. You heard U.S. forces there trying to figure out what is going on right now. I'm not sure if there's a clear successor for command here, even though I th thought I heard a pretty clear successor for it uh, earlier on. Ooh, 
gonna go over here and check and see what a revving potter is shooting at. Nope, maybe it's not them shooting anything. Where are you? Revy's looking for people to shoot, though. Oh, Sloth is right here in front of him. Oh, he's right there in the door. I and Revy just definitely, leaf. definitely saw him. Thought he was a leaf. Wow. Looks like Revy's gonna throw a grenade in. Oh man, that's a bad grenade. A little short. Not the not the range he needed. Uh, okay, Sloth the gets tower. down from the minaret. And Revy even saw him from there. Revy's just a little, about two or three seconds late to everything right now going on. Grenade comes in a response oh, towards. You want to push in? Now's the time. You ready? Okay, let's go in and die. Ozzy Potter and Revy looking closer and closer to moving in here. U.S. forces okay, have surrounded boss, by right? at least three different directions, we but check this hard corner the INS forces are still holding pretty strong right here. Ooh, look at Oddball and Milkshake getting in the fight here. They're trying to stop the U.S. from circling around. Who's this up here? Macho Man. Randy. Did Phoenix just die? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Bagus and, uh, who's that? Silent over here is still to the south. Trying to maneuver around. Seppi's moving from building to building. He might have a uh, better shot here getting close to the enemy team. And as I say that, uh, Ozzy Potter and Revy... So they're across the street, maybe? ...made real progress on getting inside a, uh... Not quite a library, not quite a bookstore. Like a, like a, like a repository. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what you would call a place like this. Hey, one, we'll try to go on the eastern flank and help you. Yeah, we need you in here for. We don't have the bodies to take this. Look at Ozzy Potter here. He's gotten inside the the school building here. He's got a pretty good position. Okay, so across the road from us, we think. Oh, IED. Oh damn! Where the fuck was that? Revy almost that dies to it. I think Amrath took some damage from it. Dude, how did that not kill me? Dark milkshake and oddball We're getting ready to run up on Amrath though. I don't think Amrath took any damage from the IED, but does Amrath know these guys are here? Mm, hard to tell. Amrath getting shut up though. Finds cover. Looks like Frost may have been responsible for some of that. Uh, sure. There's a bunch of them across the road to the E. Push. Hey, Amrath, trying to get into one of these, uh... I think he... I thought he was trying to get in one of the, uh, windows there, but I, he's not gonna be able to bipod against anything. We're being close here. Uh, right now, 28 kills US, 24 kills INS. US with the upper hand here. But they still have to push in and clear everything out. Oh boy. Oh, is that indirect fire support? Indirect fire support for INS. Finally coming back into play here. 
And we're clearing building to building. Yep, he's gonna move across here. It's next to the MRAP. And the MRAP doesn't have any wheels, so I don't think he's really thinking about getting out of there, but. More explosions to the south here. to uh, sneak through the next chase a compound, but if he peeks through this door, Dark Milkshake might have his number. Uh, if he peeks through this door, it might be the same. Amrath got shot a couple times here by Alpha Guido. Amrath turns on Alpha Guido and kills him. Lord Chaka, friendly, crawling up the bridge. More indirect fire. Starting to land around the bridge area here. Inus forces trying to reinforce whatever round troops they have left here to try to hold out. 31 kills US, 25 kills Inus. Still in US's favor here, numbers wise. Sloth just died. That's a huge loss for the remainder of INS forces. Looks like INS forces throwing all of the indirect fire they can on the bridge. Starting to slow down yeah, here. Do we own bridge? Yes. Looks like it's still going to be the uh, insurgent forces trying to push on US here. Yeah, admin siding with US forces as they hold the bridge right now. US controls bridge at Gillotin 9. Uh, INS must retake. Me... So INS had the bridge. And it looks like uh, Inus pushed off. Uh oh, Clay J just died. And, ooh. That's rough. Wait a second, that's all the Inus on the location. Everybody else is gone. 36 kills US, 25 kills Inus. Who else is left? Is that it? That is it. That's GG.